Tom Hilkin. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Tom Hilkin. Madam Contest Chair, fellow Toastmasters, friends and family, I jammed into this room to laugh for me. <laughs> I, like some of you here, was in a dead-end job. Though I actually was. At the time, I was designing cul-de-sacs. <laughs> and I knew, it was, I knew it was time for a change. So I couldn't think of what to do, so I stormed right into my boss's office. I looked him in the eye, and I said, I gotta tell you what, I'm done, I'm leaving the company. He looked up at me and said, Tom, are you kidding? No, I gotta tell you, I wasn't kidding. I was ready to move on. As a matter of fact, I had a plan. And right now, I'd like to tell everyone here, as a matter of fact, better than tell you, I would like to show you what I decided to become. I decided to become a little girl. <laughs> I know what some of you are thinking. Some of you are thinking, Tom, are you kidding? <laughs> of course I'm kidding. That's sick and secret. So if you would, keep that right here in this room. <laughs> but I did have a plan, and I'd like to share that plan with you today. I decided to become a professional clown. Yes, I did. I became the one and only Tommy Knucklehead. <laughs> what did I do? I got an application. I applied at Swallow My Pride University. <laughs> I went out, I got the big shoes, I got the big nose. I was ready to go. I was so excited. I could not wait to walk around in public with makeup on. <laughs> oh, easy, buddy. Clown makeup. Clown makeup. <laughs> I just couldn't wait. There it was. I saw the truck coming. I ran over. I saw the package. I noticed it was addressed to me. <laughs> I was so excited. I tore it open. I ripped inside. I looked and I said, holy cow. Whoa. I was accepted at Clown College. <laughs> now you know when you're excited about something, what's the first thing you want to do? You want to call somebody. So I made the brilliant choice of who was I going to call? I was going to call my father. <laughs> so I picked up the phone and I figured, hey, this guy would be really proud. His son is off to clown college. <laughs> the father of his three granddaughters quit his job. So I got on the phone and I said, Dad, it's me, Tom. Yeah, yeah, I'm changing jobs. I'm going to become a clown. No, 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 Dad, I'm not going to work for the town. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm going to become a clown. Dad? Dad? Next voice I heard? Tom? It's my mother's voice. <laughs> well, what do you mean, what did I do, Mom? I was just talking to Dad. I have no idea why he's in the corner shaking and crying, Mom. <laughs> I know I had a, what about, I know, I know it's a good job, Mom. I know lots of perks, the company car. I still have the company car, Mom. I just have to share it with 18 other clowns. <laughs> yeah, I know, Mom. I'll talk to you as soon as it comes through, but I'm off the clown college. <laughs> Clowning has been very successful for me and very exciting. I remember I had to home and tell my wife, who just happened to be the next person in line. So I walked in and I said to my wife, Honey, I quit my job. I'm going off to clown college. And she looked at me and said, Are you kidding? <laughs> no, no, no. She said, What is wrong with you? What are you doing? Do I have to put up with this the rest of my life? What about the kids? Oh, honey, the kids will be fine. I'll teach them to juggle. It'll be a beautiful thing. <laughs> Not so good. And I mentioned the kids. I have three kids, one of each. So I have <laughs> Imagine your father being a clown 
and you got to come home from high school. So I see my daughter walking down the block. I say, honey, why the long face? She said, oh, don't worry, Dad, I'm a little horse. <laughs> and actually, my daughter didn't handle it so well. She said to me, honey, what's the matter? Come on, I know I'm Tommy Knucklehead. She said, Dad, you don't know what it's like. I arrive at school. Jimmy meets me at the door. First thing he does, <laughs> hey, Rebecca, how's your father? Yeah, not easy when your dad is Tommy Knucklehead. But actually, clowning has been very, very fantastic for me. I'm happy. My wife's happy. The bill collectors are happy. It all worked out very nice. 17 years of doing this. I've had some great events. I actually got to tour Japan as a clown. And my favorite of all, one of my greatest feats, I got to perform for the New York Yankees. Now, I got on the field. The first thing I did, I ran out to center field because I wanted to stand where Joe DiMaggio was. I asked Joe Torrey to put me in the lineup. The first thing he said was, no, we got enough clowns on this team. <laughs> <laughs> so it was thrilling. It was thrilling. And in Japan, I got a great picture, actually, with the Yankees. I got a great picture of me and Yankee all-time great Bernie Williams. Now, I took the picture, and I sent it to my friend who lives in Florida. His name is Glenn. A couple of weeks later, I get a call. Tommy! Hey, Glenn, what's going on? Oh, you won't believe it. You have increased my sales incredibly. So I said, Glenn, how can I have done that? He said, I took the picture you sent me. I put it on a wall right behind my desk. Customers come in, and they say, hey, you know him? Just know him. We grew up together. You grew up with Bernie Williams? <laughs> Skills, lots of great stuff doing clowning. I've also learned one of the coolest magic tricks in the whole world. So I'm going to need a little help on this. My friend Joey taught me this one. Joey said, Tommy, you want to learn a magic trick? I said, absolutely. I said, where did you learn magic? He said, well, I got to tell you, my father was a little bit of a magician. I said, really? He said, well, my mother used to say, OK, here we go. Guys, we're going to have to help me out on the count of three. We're going to say a big loud. Speak to empower. Here we go. And 